Let's take a look at Beaver Achiever sequencing in simple loops, challenge number 39. The first thing that gets people stuck on this one is the fact that um, the loop that says count with I from one to, and then you pick a number, they didn't set it for us. So we need to set that. Here's the other thing. See how it says repeat one time? We wanted to say repeat I times. Just like when we were learning loops. Whoop, my I is near the bird. I'll have to pull it out when I do that. I, so we need that to be an I. So if yours isn't working, you might have your code correct, but you just need to fix those two things. Here's how you should think about these. First, the number that's gonna move, is it going to be for dropping or is it gonna be for moving? Well, I can tell each time the beaver's dropping two, so that will stay two. So the beaver's gonna move one, drop two, then the beaver will move one, two, and drop two, then the beaver will move three, one, two, three, and drop two. So I'm gonna put this here, and as I was counting, the highest number I got to was three. We're gonna move the repeat I times right into the middle because the first thing we're doing is moving. So I'm gonna drop my move. Move left. Oh, that's funny. And then I'm going to have the beaver drop two. Now, the dropping two is after the move. So it has drop. to go after these drop. two. I'm not sure why my voice over is on, but what do you know? Maybe if I do this. Okay, so this says you're gonna start from one and go up to three when you use the repeat, which means we'll move one, then two, then three, and then each time you'll drop two. Let's see how it looks. All right, all filled.